guys behind me, this is it. Oh. We are at the iconic up garage. That's $500. What? Why is everything so much cheaper in Japan? I can't believe it. What a fine, guys. This right here oh, man. is 15,000. Oh my god, dude, check out this tunnel. What? It's like straight out of Batman. Guys, we are now at our next destination. This one in particular is iconic because it is one of the largest exporters of GTRs and basically all JDM icons out here in Japan. Guys, behind me, this is it. So if you guys haven't already spotted, this is Global Auto. They are a massive exporter of JDM icons here in Japan. As you can see by the lineup and just the cars behind me, this is literally a kid's dream. Let's have a look at the cars. As you guys can see, R35, 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 NSX peeping on the back, R34, R34, R34. This is very much GTR heaven. R33, R32. Guys, you guys get the gist about everything that's going on here at Global Auto. They have some of the finest GTRs in Japan and they are all for sale. This R33 though, this is the HKS281 with the V cam, fully stripped out as you guys can see in the back, peeping with the Recaros, another R34 back there, and R34 baseline blue. This is insane. Literally heaven on earth when it comes to JDM icons. Evo, full Varus kit as well as this S2000 here. The sorcery fun bar. Let's have a look and see inside. Hi guys, we've pretty much got full access to look at all the cars out here at Global Auto. Insane lineup, check this out. This is one of their Bayside Blues being worked on with the S1 engine. Another awesome R34 out here with auto select canards. Bayside Blue, black, black. 33 with LMGT2s, Evo 8MR, some more Evo, R33 sedan. This looks like the, ooh, the four door GTR. The R33. This thing looks like a monster out here. Oh. Clean as R32 GTR. Thank you for a tour out the front. Oh. NSX again. I swear they just keep following me ever since I sold the car. But this thing is a nice stock example. It's a manual. It's got the original navigation system. NA1. Very, very cool. In the Sebring Silver. R35 in baseline blue. R34. Just a ton of GTRs. Literally. GTR heaven out here. I just can't get over that Bayside Blue, and this has the Z Tune kit. So, so nice. Yep, I could basically live here in Japan. Oh, Nadi's everywhere. This thing is just so tidy, white on white. What's in this beast? 
GT3, the new HKR star. Oh wow. VCAM. VCAM as well. And yes. this is nice. engine bay goals right here. So sick. Kansai service build. HKS Kansai build? This is a very costly build. Awesome car. How fast is this? Too fast, I don't even want to know. 600 <laughs> PS? Yep. Oh my god. Six, seven hundred this year. 650 a gram. That's about 450 kilowatts, guys. Oh my god. I love the matching wheels. So this is actually repainted, so it's repainted slightly darker in the, the 35 oh. G. Yeah, color. 35 color. <laughs> hey. That's awesome. Part of this job. <laughs> I hate slamming bonnets. It's painful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We're now here at Up Garage. I nearly forgot to lock the car. That would have been a really bad time. <laughs> So we are at the iconic up garage where they sell a host of car parts. They even have a vending machine up front. Now if you guys know up garage, they are pretty much the Home Depot, JB Hi-Fi, Kmart, whatever you want to call it, of car parts here in Japan. They sell literally everything. So let's take you guys for a tour and hopefully we can find some bargains out here. Alright, so up garage has a host of parts that range from lights, air fresheners, carpets, seats, and already I see some epic Recaros. Oh my god, there's so many things here. So I'm gonna have to be very, very loud to avoid the Japanese music that's playing. Hopefully they don't copyright me. <laughs> but let's take you guys for a tour. Look at this, guys. Yo, Evo 8. I believe these are Evo 9 Recaros. SR3 confettis. Wait, 41,000 yen? That's only like $500. That's $500. What? That's such a steal. Why is everything so much more, I guess, cheaper in Japan? It's a shame that we have to ship these things back because it is going to be a mission. Look at those SR impacts. Those are so cool. I still can't get over those confettis being basically $500 Australian dollars. What? The Brooks STI seats? 8,000 yen? There are some crazy deals here. I see some Porsche things. These are some side mirrors. Ooh, I wonder if we can find some Ganadors out here. Let's have a look. So, Up Garage and Super Auto Box are known for having a lot of parts. Sometimes you can find yourself a little bargain. People sell their parts here. So you never know what gems you can find, but let's have a look Maybe we can spot some rare parts. So if you guys see the video, you guys can come check out the up garage over here. We are in the Sakai branch, which is close to Global Auto, which we were at before. They've also got a bunch of wheels. And typically you'll find some raised wheels, some BBS wheels. Sure enough, I see some raised wheels in the back. RE30s as well. Got strap braces. Air intakes, coilovers. These are even Cusco ones, so they've got high end names like Bill Steins, RSRs. So these are for the 86, IS350, Honda NSX coils. These look like ABAC coilovers as well. Just a bunch of awesome parts out here. You've even got big brake kits. Oh, not. These are covers actually. But yeah, you name it, they've got a bunch of parts out here. It's just so cool. Let's have a look at some goodies. Hopefully we can find some and bring them back to the motherland. Oh my god, look at these 14 inch wheels, the Tanabe Speed Stars. <laughs> XT7s. So many coilovers, guys. Just so, so many car parts out here. Yo. OG TD37s. Unfortunately, they're not concave. They say they're for the RX7. They look like a ah, 8.5 40, 9.5 40. Good size. I still can't believe they've just got OG TDs just sitting back there. And that set is actually 
$1,500. Wow. What a bargain. So yes, you can literally find anything. Wheels, mufflers, coilovers, OGT E37's out back there. Oh my god. Springs, coilovers, wheels, mufflers, exhausts, intercoolers, air intakes, lights, air fresheners, all kinds of things. Ooh, these seekers are tidy. You name it, they've got everything. And as well as that, an insane seat collection, which doesn't get any better. They've even got bumpers here. That's for an EK Civic, that's a Sea West bumper. This is for an EK as well, also Sea West. If you were looking to modify your car and you were based in Japan, you could literally come into an up garage and buy everything you need right here in this little steering wheels. Ooh, that's a cool looking Momo. What wheels do they have? Yo, that's an S15 wheel! No! S15 spec. Oh, this is in such good condition! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That's actually neat. How much is this? My wheel actually isn't that mint, so if this thing is good... Yo, guys! S15 spec R steering wheel. This is immaculate! There's no marks on it at all! It's actually so tidy. I don't think I've ever seen an S15 wheel as clean as this. And 16,000 yen is basically about $180? What? Dude, this is a flippin' bargain. I'm gonna buy this. <laughs> Here in Australia, to find that same red stitch steering wheel, 1,100. These are the Aussie Spec 200 SX wheels, 500 each and they have a Nissan logo on it. And guys, all the Japs and everyone else, honestly, in the world, they want something with that Sylvia logo. A quick Google Translate of what this S15 steering wheel's description is. Nissan genuine red black leather steering wheel. It's used, but guys, this is used in fantastic condition. There are literally no marks on this thing at all. Look at that. Just the tiniest scuff there. Barely anything there. This is only 180 Australian dollars. The same wheel to buy in Australia is about 800. All right guys, I'm going home. Actually, I'm gonna look and see if there's any more parts out here. This is crazy. <laughs> there's even a handle, so you can uh, bring it out with me. I should just put this in the GDR. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's have a look. Any other wheels? I kind of like this one. This is kind of cool. But, oh my god, you know what this would suit? You know what I'm thinking of? Maybe the Merc? Yo, this is cool. All right guys, we also came across an R32 GTR wheel, and this is 40,000 yen. It's in immaculate condition, except for these scuffs here. And a bit there. But for about $450, this is a steal. Alright guys, we ended up buying both steering wheels. I can't believe it. What a find guys. Still haven't gone to the Super Auto Box yet, but we've got the GTR here looking so good. Yes. I love Japan. I love Japan. Alright guys, just leaving off garage now. Just spotted an R35, but he just turned off. Oh, we just missed him. I wonder if you can still see him. He's out this way. There he is. Oh, so good. Alright guys, we did a pretty decent haul, I'd say, at up garage here in the Sakai ward. It has been so much fun, but we're gonna continue the journey of thrift shopping for parts. Today has just been an absolute blast. So one of the major shops apart from Up Garage is also Super Auto Box. They're also exactly the same as Up Garage, but you definitely have to check it out. So we're gonna go head over to the Kobe branch now. Let's go guys. It's tunnel time. Let's go, let's go. Oh my God, dude, check out this tunnel. 
What? It's like straight out of Batman. Alright, second gear guys. In the GDR. Oh my god. Everything out in Japan is unreal. And of course, the tunnel runs are even better. <laughs> so, what? Look at all these highways! Driving out here is insane. And now we're going to mount this bridge. What a sight. This is unreal. Basically the Golden Gate Bridge in Osaka. R34 GTR. Alright guys, we've made it to Super Auto Box here in Kobe and just casually we see an R34 GTR. So we decided to park up next to it. This example looks to have the V-Spec bonnet. It's got the OEM fogs. Apart from that, full standard. It's got some red interior inserts. I like that. That's really tasty. Wow. This is a V-Spec 2 R34 GTR, big money. Oh my God, I can't believe we've come across a GTR just casually out here in Kobe. So the reason why we're out in Kobe is because we want to try that Kobe beef, which is notorious for being some of the best beef in the entire world. So first, we're going to go check out this massive super box. Hopefully we find some more deals out here. This place is Huge. Do you think we'll find some parts here? Probably. Hell yeah! Look at this lineup of wheels, Volk Racing, TE37s. Oh, yes. Guys. Oh my god. I don't know where to start. Where should we start? Wheels? Alright, let's go wheels. Let's go wheels. Oh, Leon Hardis. Oh, guys, oh, BBS LMs, these look like my old ones on the Chaser with the WRX, oh, LMRs, RSGTs, some MZ speed cars, oh god, I love the Suzuki Jimny, this is actually sold out now, I didn't even know they sold cars here at Super Auto Bars. this is a massive showroom, M speed looks like tuning shop for some four wheel drives, some work wheels. I don't know how I'm gonna compress all this content for you guys of the Super Auto Box, but I'll try to get as much as possible. This is actually insane. Look at these wheels, seat covers, boots, air fresheners, some lights, exhausts. Look at these, Olin's coilovers. What parts do we have here? Ooh, some night sports. R35. Nismo bits. Ooh, Nismo horn. Nismo steering wheel. Oh, wow. That's a, a wrap. That's the Nismo steering wheel right here. That's so tasty. Mugen parts. TRD components here. Wow, GR, headers, ASM for S2000, it is car heaven. I can't keep my eyes off all these things, look at this. ASM bits, ride, steering wheel covers, look at the selection of the covers. They tend to not have any second hand parts in Super Auto Box, they have brand new components. As you guys can see, just filled with parts. SSQV, exhaust, manifolds, shocks, racing harnesses. Whoa. New steering wheels, air filters. Oh. <laughs> All the defi gauges, those are the cool new ones. Just endless, endless parts absolutely everywhere. 
It is insane, guys. I don't even know where to start. Oh, this is so cute. Yo, Blitz break kit. That would look so nice with some Blitz O3s. All the roof pods, camping gear for four wheel driving. Man. Small gizmos and gadgets, seat covers, floor mats. Oh my god. Right, so now we're gonna go find the bathroom somewhere in this maze apart. Oh, there we go. Let's go. So, guys, as well as being a huge seller of car parts, Up Garage also do. Wait, sorry. Super Autovox also do maintenance work on your cars. You can see it over there. GR6 and we've also got a Nismo 370Z. Guys, we finally made it here to our destination in Kobe. It is very tight in all of these Japanese car park spots. We're good. We made it. Kobe beef time. Oh, yo. So I've never actually been to Kobe before. It is a little bit of a quieter and a little bit more of an older town. But guys, the lights out here, it's really nice. It's kind of like... Kyoto actually. This is called the Misono building and it's called the Misono oh baby. Alright, we're here at Misona. Let me show you guys the Kobe beef. This right here is 100 grams of Misono Kobe beef. They are basically the original of the Tepanyaki. Kobe Misono. So this is it. This right here is 15,000 yen. And that's for just a hundred grand. Okay, so we're just going to try it and see what it tastes like. Hopefully it's as good as people tout it out to be. Especially because we are in Kobe as well. So can't wait guys. What a view. I think it's time we try the Kobe beef. This is by far the most expensive steak I've ever eaten in my life. Look at that marbling on that beast. Oh my god, this thing looks actually insane. I don't know if that is focusing right now. Get a load of that. It's absolutely unreal. Wow. So juicy, so tasty, literally melts in your mouth. Mm. That is by far one of the best tasting steaks I've ever had. Mm. That is so good. You have to come to Kobe and get Kobe beer because that was sick. Alright guys, we have now finished up over at Kobe and the Kobe beef was, as you guys know and saw, delicious. I'm gonna go pay for this parking and head back to Osaka. Oh my god. So guys, we are on the famous Kanjo loop. This is where the term Kanjuzoku races came from and it was in this area. So guys, we just had a photo shoot out here in Shinsekai. It is so nice out here. The lighting, the mood, the GTR, everything just looks so on point. I'm really loving it out here in Japan. It's just so much fun. Everything is just so aesthetically pleasing and oh, I just can't get enough of this place. So it is dumpling 
R32 time, 7-11. Just made it back to the B&B. And that about wraps up this video guys. I hope you have enjoyed this tour around Osaka with the GTR and showing you around with my Osaka apartment. It has been so much fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you guys did, be sure to give it that thumbs up button in the comments below. Tell me what you like about Osaka, the GTR, tuna shops that we saw as well. And consider subscribing to the channel because guys, we have much more Japan content to come and I'll see you very soon. Take care.